What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the package GI and also we have some plugins for our PlayStation Vita on 3.60. This is pretty cool. So now you guys will see these files in the description. I'll go ahead and leave that information in there. So remember to go into the description and get these files. So as you guys can see inside the plugins folder, you will see the download enabler .supRx. So now this will be enabling you to download files within your browser, also non PDRM. It will create a fake license for your PSN games, which is pretty cool. Also, we have no PSM DRM. So technically this is for the PlayStation Mobile and Shell Battery Soup RX, which it will give you like a percentage of your battery, which is pretty handy to have. So make sure you get those files in the description. So also you're going to get this package GI folder. And within it, it's going to have a package GI text. Now, this was provided by our fellow friend and YouTuber, Nano Speed Gamer, which is amazing. You know, they already have compiled all the files within here, around a thousand games, which is pretty cool. You know, big shout out to Nano Speed Gamer. Now, I recommend you guys to follow him. He has like up-to-date videos and information now this is in Spanish but I think he probably has subtitles or something like that so you can follow him also he puts link for like downloads so make sure you go to his channel visit his channel you will find amazing things as well um, he has for PlayStation 4 you know some switch you know he has news so he has a great deal of videos Nano Speed Gamer, thank you for sharing that text file with Gamer for Birth DL. So big shout out to Nano Speed Gamer, thank you, gracias amigo, Nano Speed Gamer numero uno. So I'll go ahead and leave his link and channel information in the description as well, or at the end of the video. So we move on with our video with Package GI. So now we have connected our PlayStation Vita via USB thanks to the flow with Vita shell so now also this file is going to be in the description this is the actual VPK that we will be installing within the PlayStation Vita so those three files will be in there so the only thing we have to do we're just going to drag and or copy those files within the root of the PlayStation Vita Okay, so which is pretty cool. We already have that information in there. Okay, so now we have our plugins. We have our package GI text file. That's all we need. And we have our package GI VPK. I'll go ahead and leave the link as well for the GitHub of the developer. Make sure you check those links as well. They might have the up-to-date information. Um, I just provided these folders for you guys to make it easier. So now we go to the type folder. Now within the type folder, we're going to modify the config text. So I'm going to use Notepad++. It has a better visual and it's easy to handle. So now we're going to go under kernel. It's really important to write it out like this if you're going to use my same process. So we're going to put UXO plugins then non pdrm dot skprx it's really important to put it under kernel so that this can work this will create the fake licenses automatically also we're going to put uxo plugins no psm drm skprx Okay, so those are the two plugins we need to write the path there under kernel. Now under main, so that we can have access to the download files within the web browser of the PlayStation Vita. We're going to put 
I have it as URO, so I'm going to change that as UXO within the PlayStation Vita. So make sure you put it like that. Also, the UXO plugin show battery or bat.suitrx. That's all we need. We just remember to go and save this information. So file, save. Now I haven't modified anything, but when you modify yours, you will be able to save or control S and it will save your file. So technically that's all we need. We modified our config text, our type folder. So now we move on to the PlayStation Vita. Okay, so now we had it connected via USB. Okay, so now we go to UXO. We just double check if everything is in there. So package GI, we have our package GI text. You guys can see that all the information is in here. You know, shout out to Nano Speed Gamer that shared this with us. It's pretty cool. Makes our life easier. Now we go to plugins. You guys will see that we have all the plugins in there. And we have our tie folder. So within our tie folder, what we need to do, we just double check if everything's correct. Plugins non PDRM, plugins non PSM DRM. And under main, we have plugins download enabler dot RX. Oops, sorry, I just need to fix this. It should be UXO because we have the path for the folder. So I'm just going to replace that R into UXO or UX0. Remember when I say UXO is zero, I know I'm sorry for the confusion. So UX0 plugins and we save. Okay, now that we have that information in order to activate the non EPRM, we have to turn off the PlayStation Vita. But before we do that, we're going to copy the type folder and move it to the URO so that we don't have path issues. So I'm going to paste it. Okay, so there we have it. So now that it's in our URO, we're going to delete it from UXO. Have you guys seen my previous videos with how to install the SD2 Vita, you will know what we're talking about. But so uh, make sure that you have it under URO. It's really important that all the modifications and the config text it's in there. This is just to avoid path issues. So now we're going to test it out. You guys can see the battery percentage is not in there yet. So I'm going to turn it off and then turn it back on. Okay, you guys see the battery percentage in the top right hand corner. I'm going to delete package GI so that we can install it together. Okay, so I go to UXO. You guys see that I have that UR, the tie folder in URO, so everything worked fine. So we're installing the package GI. This one is version 0.05. Okay, so we're done with the installation. So if we have everything how we did it on the video, then we should be fine. Okay, we have our package GI application. This is revolutionary and it's pretty cool. So now we have the list of games or packages, however you want, guys want to call it. You can press triangle, it'll give you more options. I want to sort it out. You can sort it out by regions as well. I just want to sort it out with size. For this video, I'm just going to install small size videos. I have not installed these. You guys saw that I had already installed others and they work perfectly. So this is just however memory you have in your PlayStation Vita. I mean, if you want to install all of them, go ahead, which is pretty cool. So let's try Jetpack Joyride. It's a pretty cool game. Okay, now let's, I think I'm, doing tennis in the face or something like that and then I'm going to do fruit ninja okay so we're ready to test out the games so 
Jetpack Joyride. My, my daughter loves this game and she's really good at it. I'm not that good, but we'll see right now if it works. You guys can see, it works perfectly. And I just wanted to speed up the video. Tennis in the face. I think I'll have some fun with this game. It looks kind of interesting and funny. Okay, so now we have Fruit Ninja. You guys can see it's working. So if it helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Gamer Rebirth, out.